Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter, and oh my god, do we have a lot of cool stuff. Today at the Sony PlayStation Showcase at the Paris Games Week, Capcom gave us a fourth trailer from Monster Hunter World that matched the Halloween spirit by taking us into a deep, dark, toxic map called the Rotten Vale, a catacomb of dead monsters and poisonous gas. Inside we got to see a preview of three brand new monsters and one perhaps Elder Dragon, we don't know, it's a big tease at the end of the trailer, and even a look at the online hub and some other small cool stuff. After we see this video, which I'm looping right now, I will go over all the major things that we got to see and all of them are awesome. Capcom also revealed that from December 9th to 12th, I'm not sure how that works, but for three days, um, PlayStation Plus subscribers will get an exclusive beta demo of the game. Honestly, I don't know why they're calling it beta, because it's only a month prior to launch, and the game is probably already finished by this point, um, but you know what, I'm hyped as all get out. In the demo, they'll let us face off against the Great Jagras, or the Anjanath inside of the forest, or we can even go into the Wildspire Waste to hunt a Baroth. I'm kind of curious if we can go on a hunt against Gerotodos, because he's also in the same map as Baroth, and it wouldn't make much sense for them to like limit that monster, but we'll have to see. Anyway, just look at this trailer. It's unbelievable. I definitely want you to go check out the full trailer with the sound on because the sound is awesome for this game. So go check out the link in the description down below for the link to the official Capcom channel where you can watch this video. And let me know down in comments what you think this thing they're about to show is because honestly they did such a good job editing it, it's impossible to tell what it really is. <laughs> That's so cool. Finally, they even announced that there's going to be a PlayStation exclusive quest post-launch to make the bow and arbor and face of Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn, which is a fantastic game featuring one of the most badass hunters you've seen in a long time. It looked great. I even love that they have this like machine type of uh, design for the palico armor. It's great. Okay, Rewind Theater, here are some Vista shots from the new place, the Rotten Vale. In Japanese, they're calling it the Miasmic Valley, which of course has to do with the poisonous gas that comes from rotten and decaying things. I do love the idea that the deeper you get, that mist will get thicker and you won't be able to see around you very well. So they show you using the slinger here with uh, the heat, so you can clear away the gas so that you can see. We get to see Tzizi take down some small monsters, <laughs> and we, then we have this new monster who is kind of like the bone version of Uragon called the Radoban. I'm sorry, the English names are a little weird for me still. The Radoban. I guess I'm saying that right. Well, anyways, this monster likes to eat both bones and it also has bones all over its body, and it will roll around the area, it's sort of like an Uragon if you're familiar with that monster, and slam its chin down. It's definitely going to be a force to reckon with, especially if you have that poisonous gas and you can't see around you. Then we get the new what I call the Flesh Pup, and this is definitely looking like it's going to be one of the more popular new monsters, called the Odogaron. Odogaron? Odogaron? <laughs> Again, I have no idea how to pronounce these. The Odogaron, I guess. Um, this is going to be an awesome, cool new monster that it looks like it has like no flesh on its body, and apparently it feeds off of the dead bodies of other monsters. You can even track it if you watch it grab a dead body, it'll try to take it back to its lair so that it can snack on it. Let me get some fancy new shots of Legiana, which is that pretty monster up there, and then another new monster. This new monster, which has a smaller version and it's kind of like the pack leader, is called the Great Giros, or Giros, however you want to pronounce that. And this whole thing is that it's a pack animal, so all the small animals move together in a pack and they all do paralysis, even the smaller ones. So they're definitely going to be an annoying monster for sure that are going to come up, snap you, and then just gang up on you. So I think you have to be very careful when you take these guys on. Okay, and here we just have a montage of the monsters being themselves. I already covered some of these in the previous one, so I'm not going to talk about them here, but look at these things. Aren't they awesome? Now, I'm sure there's some really minute, cool things that you can discern from these clips, so definitely leave it down in the comments below if you notice something really cool or noteworthy. And look at this. This is just cruel. Like, showing the monsters all picking on each other is fine, but leave Pao Lumu alone. Come on, man. Look at this. <laughs> it's so mean. And here is the online hub. They did state in articles in Japan that even uh, offline you're able to access this hub. And wait a second, what was that? Arm wrestling! I was so upset when they took this out of the last game, but arm wrestling is definitely a way to make friends online without even having to speak the same language. Um, if you pause the video and you go and you look at all this, there's tons of cool little cute palico armors that you can look at in this video. Um, and so definitely look at those and share those online if you find some really cute ones. Here they're just showing some more of the environmental stuff that you can do uh, <laughs> in just the monster's wrecking house. Um, anyways, looking really good. And this scene at the end here, 
they did confirm that this is the gas that's emanating off of that body of the small monster. As you go deeper into this map, the gas becomes much more stronger and it makes what would normally be kind of docile monsters even more aggressive. So it's kind of like a frenzy system if you think about it, just not more of a mechanic but just sort of a thing that happens in this map. And this thing is so cool. We see its claw come out of the rubble. It definitely looks like a reptile type of dragon-like thing. That's not a claw print that we've seen on any monster up until now. Um, and then we just see the rubble fall away. And no matter how many times I look at this, I can't figure out the shape of what the monster is. I have my own guesses, which I probably won't share here because they're pretty crude. But let us know down in the comments what you think it might be and what you spot in that massive rubble. I, God, they just did such a good job at hiding what it really was. They're such a tease. I hope they reveal more news about it in the next week. So that was the trailer, pretty awesome. Now with every new trailer, they always release some new marketing screenshots, which are always very pretty. So I'm gonna be showing them up here. This new map, I don't, here's my thoughts. I think it's wonderful. Um, I like the idea that there's not just poison swamps all over, so it's not super gimmicky, um, but it does have obviously an organic type of poisonous mist type of thing going on. So you will have to be prepared to go in there when you hunt. I do like the variation that we're also seeing. It's not all just one color, like this next screenshot, we see what almost looks like sulfuric water and gemstone areas. I definitely like it. It's kind of like the underground cave slash toxic area swamp all put together into one. Now the next screenshot they released, which is a really pretty look at Toby, um, but we, what they're really trying to focus on here is on the bottom left you see the Palico, and the Palicos get a whole lot of new different supportive skills. This one they show it doing sort of like the Lance Guard Shield, so it can protect itself from other attacks. In this next screenshot, we get to see another beautiful picture of the Coral Highlands and CC doing its thing. Definitely like the armor and the weapon. I love the details of the longsword. You see all that binding that's going up there. It looks really great. I'm kind of curious what monster that, uh, ar that armor's for. I'm not sure if that's the hunters behind that we can see, but there's a nice kind of like kimono bow in the back or whatever that is. It looks great. Then, of course, we get a picture of a Dolgarong. I, I really can't say that name very well. <laughs> um, doing its thing by uh, sort of feeding on dead monsters. Maybe that's why it's fleshy, because it's not eating living monsters. If it had done that, maybe it would get more protein. <laughs> Anyways, I'm doing a poll on Twitter right now. Uh, you can follow me at AEvanko. Um, if you haven't already, I warn you, I tweet a lot of what people's favorite monster from this trailer is. And it definitely looks like the flesh puppy is going to be a favorite of a lot of hunters. Then Capcom shared a screenshot of this, which is just the hunter using the slinger to shoot sort of like those fire nuts. And of course the fire sparks are really helpful not only to attract small monsters in like the forest area, but you can use it in this new poisonous area and it will clear away some of the fog, like some of that mist. And then we get the new mid-tier monster, the Great Giros, or Giros, however you want to pronounce it. I definitely like the idea that they're not being lazy and going back to the old sort of small monsters and their pack leaders, and they're creating brand new monsters for this game. Like, I've never seen this many new monsters in a Monster Hunter game. It's unheard of. But you can definitely see the lacing of the paralysis on its teeth here, and all I can say is, show me what its sword and shield look like, please. And here we get a really nice screenshot of Radodaban. Now this is what I said is like sort of like the Uragon monster. I don't think we ever got to see its face as well as we do here in the actual trailer, but the thing looks massive. I think the idea is that you're trying to knock the bones off of its body to make it weaker um, so that you can actually do damage to it. And of course it's in the depths of this new place, so you want to be using your slinger in order to clear away some of the mist so you can actually see this thing coming because it'll roll around obviously and hit you and you won't be able to do much if you can't see. This next screenshot, finally we get a really nice picture of a front shot of Legiana. Legiana is of course very interesting in that it uses this kind of like water type mist thing to slow down the movement of its prey so that it can swing in from above and kill it. Just the animations on this monster though, like if you watch it in the trailers, this is definitely something that you can't do unless it was on PlayStation 4, Xbox, and PC. Like it's just total next gen. And here we get a very nice screenshot of the online gathering hall. I find it really interesting that the articles are all pointing out here in Japan that most of the features, not all, will be accessible offline as well. So it makes me think that they're trying to make this gathering hall feel part of the actual town and not being part of another area where traditionally you had to travel from your main town to the gathering hall and you sort of you know lost personality because it wasn't the same place. So now they're finally making it one cohesive village um, and I do love that they're bringing back arm wrestling. Not only is arm wrestling just fun, it's a great way to break the ice with new hunters who you don't know, especially if you don't speak their language and you just want to show off that you're a friendly guy who's just there to have a good time. 
Um, it's also a great way to use some of those nice gestures, and I don't know how they're going to be unlocking gestures in this game, but it's always fun to do some cool gestures when you win or you lose. Also take note of all the little screenshots of all the palicos. You can see the palicos of all the hunters that are in the hub. You can see like this sultan type thing on the left, or your ladybug on the bottom left. Um, <laughs> it's just great. Um, one of the great things of Monster Hunter has been its goofy nature, and I'm happy to say that it looks like they're not going to lose it here. Um, I hope they push it even farther than what we've been seeing up till now, but we'll have to wait and see. And that covers all the news from today. So what do you guys think? It's a brand new trailer with a new map, three to four new monsters. Uh, we get to see some cool new designs, the online hub, we get an exclusive quest for PlayStation. I know I hate exclusive, but you know what? Horizon was an exclusive game, so it makes sense. Um, and we also got news of the exclusive uh, beta demo. For three days, we're going to be able to actually play the game. Um, for Because people like me, I went to Tokyo Game Show and I wasn't even able to try the game because the lines were already filled. So, super hyped about that. Can't wait to show off my new PlayStation 4 Pro, the Rathalos Edition, which is coming just a few days prior. And hopefully there'll be some more news coming out of this week from the Paris Games event, but we'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, because I'll definitely be covering Monster Hunter World when it comes out. And until next time, happy hunting.